My name is Norm Jones. I live in Ocean City, Maryland. And I'm Deanna Jones. I live there too. <laughs> uh, I was first diagnosed with aplastic anemia uh, about a, a year and four months ago. And my life has been the same since. That's the truth. Yeah, uh, it really hasn't been the same since. Um, uh, and um, this is my first um, conference for AAMDS that I've been to. And um, I met some incredible people here mm -hmm. that had this disease for 10 years plus. And, and what I'm truly amazed is that they still come to these conferences after they're, they're they have no more treatment, they're on no more drugs, and yet they still support mm -hmm. the AAMDS Foundation, and I'm just blown away by that, you know, just the support that these mm -hmm. people give their, give us. Yep. Norm is a, is a Navy veteran, and so he uses the VA hospital in Baltimore, and he, you have to do your annual to stay with them, and he was heading up there to do his annual, and just got his blood drawn and whatever, and poking and prodding, and there he's fine and having a good day in his Corvette. Driving home, <laughs> driving home was going to stop off in Annapolis, which is where our son lives, before he crossed the bridge to Ocean City, and he gets a phone call coming down the highway, and it's the VA, and they tell him that he needs to stop the car, pull over on the side of the road, get out, call an ambulance, get to a hospital this moment, and get a blood transfusion. And he said, excuse me, he was having a wonderful spring day. Excuse me, he got the wrong guy. And they said, no, we don't, you know, and he gave, they gave him his platelet count. And of course, he continued on to our son. And that first week felt like, I mean, it was like the planet dropped away from us. What do you do? Where do you go? Who do you call? Who can help, etc. And I mean, boom, from there on in, we joined this, um, this whirlpool of needs and events and you know arrangements and you know, he, he that day stopped working you know we weren't expecting any of that no, I've never met anybody that had aplastic anemia or MDS before um, and I didn't even know what constituted a complete blood count CBC and and now, now I can tell you all about it <laughs> Um, just amazing how much you can learn when something is thrown at you. Um, um, absolute neutrophil count, I would not have known that two years ago. And now he's training the new nurses at the infusion center on how to figure out the ratios. So it's kind of cute. I have um, two brothers and a sister and they all argued who was going to be the first one to um, so, so, Signed up for a bone marrow transplant. So, I so I'm, I I'm, getting, uh, I'm getting a lot of support from family. Uh, I get on the um, AAMDS Foundation web, website and Facebook just about every day just to see what people are saying. And, and, and here I am at the first, first conference. We're getting there. It's it's um one thing I did learn about this is that my doctor told me right <laughs> off the start, you have to be patient. It's it's not a quick fix. It's a four month before we even begin to see results, and and it could even be longer than that. And so I've learned to be patient. Those first four months, you know, I felt just, like four years yeah, waiting and, for and that. And then I started seeing. Results of my blood count gradually go up, and then one day they shot up real, real good. And so here I am. I'm, we're not quite where we want to be. I'm still on the cyclosporin, um, and hopefully be weaned off of that um, in the next year. year, I guess. It's amazing how much you can learn when something is thrown at you.